Hi, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk um, Today I've come on to do a quick live with Good Morning Magnolia Just some, what I consider stample, simple stamping and a bit of colouring So I'm just, I think we're just about ready to go I don't think I've got this, that's a bit better Okay, so just not a, a big long live just now, just a wee quick one. I've got a couple of cards in my head. I did do a live this morning if you saw that with perennial birthday stamp set. This time I'm using Good Morning Magnolia. This is a, a two-part set and it's, um, it's a beautiful set. I did use it a lot when I first got it. Luckily it is carrying over to the new catalogue so um, it will continue to get a lot of use. There's lots of techniques you can do with it but today I really am just sticking with simple. Okay I know it's a kind of awkward time I don't know who will come on and who, who who's available at this time it's like quarter to seven in the evening on a Monday in UK so if you're watching this on replay don't forget to give me a wee thumbs up and to comment on the video if you're watching live come in and say hello I'd like to I'm happy to chat as we go here so anyway I'm just going to get on with it so I've got as I said this morning I ch had chopped up a lot of um, layers of Whisper White and I've got my memento ink and I'm really just going to do a recomposition that I came up with earlier today. So I might just go and put a wee note in one of my groups and share this. Bear with me. So I'm using this sentiment, the journey of life is best shared with a friend, we'll get through this together. That's nice. Nice and crisp. Maybe just pop something. Bear with me and I'll just put a wee note in my group just to see if anyone wants to join us. says there's one person watching that's probably me watching myself <laughs> so I'm just popping a wee thing in the group maybe somebody will see it and want to come and join me anyway I'll just keep going I'm sure Oh hi Karen, I'm back on. I've just decided to come and do another wee stamping while the tea's in the oven cooking. It distracts me from other things in life. So, um, uh, as I was saying earlier, I am using Good Morning Magnolia. It's a fantastic set, it's a double set and it's just, it's you know, it's got if, thanks, hello, thinking of you, enjoy today, so it could be birthday. Um, so thinking of you not or or thanks for not only for what you do but for being someone so special but even thinking of you not only but and then the journey of life is best shared with a friend we'll get through this together and that's what I'm using on this card and enjoy today so we'll pop this actual box out of the way so I've put the sentiment in the middle and then I'm going to use this the small bud. I really like think this is quite pretty. So again I'm doing all the stamping with my mental. I 
you're eating pizza oh well i've got uh, their steak pie in the oven for my husband and then i'm going to eat I've, in fact you don't want to know karen what i'm going to eat i won't put you off your pizza There we go, the bud in opposite corners. And then I'm going to use this stamp. I have uh, this sort of scroll stamp that comes with it. I have not actually used that stamp before. It's never been inked up. Why not? It's beautiful. It's been quite good that because we're, the new catalogue is about to come out and Somewhere during the night, we demonstrators, overnight tonight, we demonstrators will be able to do our pre-order from the new catalogue. Do you want to have a wee look at the new catalogue? Let you have a quick look. It's here. It's here, right in front of me. And I'm so excited because I'm going to be able to order from that tonight, sometime during the night. But certainly before morning, I will have put my, what we call a pre-order, when I can choose some of the item, the new things that are in this book um, and have them delivered to me very soon so that I can start preparing projects to show. Now, if you, you also could order from that catalogue right now, all you have to do is sign up as a demonstrator and you would get immediate access to that. Um, so if you were thinking about that, it's the same offer as all year round, it's £99 and you choose £135 worth of product and that is yours no matter what so I'm just doing that there and I'm turning that round here look at this beautiful detail in that that's gorgeous I'm basically just kind of making a border with it and then I'm going to add some colour with the blends that's just sumptuous. So with our stamps, it's really quite hard to go wrong. Now I'm going to use the wee leaf. As rest, well, I was going to use the wee leaf, but something else I could do is you could use a, a, a word sentiment. I'm just going to stick with the wee leaf idea that I have, though. But I could have used the hello and done hello, hello. I'm going to turn this round 180 degrees and attempt to do something similar. <laughs> I'm just not going to spoil it for you, Karen. Enjoy your pizza. Whatever I'm going to have, I'm going to have lots of vegetables with it. I've got some cauliflower and some green beans and a lovely courgette so yeah it's going to be nice right so there's the wee composition I've got here and I'm going to stamp another one and then colour them both in oh hi Cindy I didn't see you yeah hi but I, that was um, it's a wee concession to you and all your buddies in the USA because I did a live this morning UK time too early for you guys really so I thought I would try and come on and do something else at tea time when you guys have got a chance to catch me so hi Cindy welcome so that's one composition done that this is another very very simple one that I'm going to do and I am going to use the great big stamp but I'm only going to stamp it once just that this is going to be quite a a clean and simple card really if I can keep my inky fingers off it it'll be clean now because this is a felt pad I, I kind of give it a wee twist as I put it on just to make sure I've got enough ink on there Oh, wasn't that lovely, our, um, our Zoom chat the other night? It was so nice to meet you, Cindy. 
It really was. It was lovely. Just to meet people that you sometimes talk, kind of chat with online, but to meet you face to face, really, it, well, it was, wasn't it? It was really nice. So, right, I'm, so I'm just going to pop this about there. So I'm stamping off. The whole image is not going to be on, but most of it is. Now, this Magnolia image is absolutely gorgeous. And I do have an idea to do a bit of fussy cutting with it and do some old fashioned decoupage, but not today, just doing some simple stamping today. And I'm just, I don't know why I closed my ink, and then just taking the wee hello stamp here. It's a beautiful script, and just tucking it in here. And that's it. Oh, hi, Purple Ivy Crafts. How are you? I, have we met before? I'm not sure if I know your handle, Purple Ivy. Is that Ivy from Putlers? My memory's not that good. You can let me know. So then I'm just going to colour these with the blends. Now, as I've said before, I'm not an expert on blends. Um, so I'm using the Petal Pink pair and Mint. All right. So hi, Ivy. I just, I just, my memory is rubbish. Yes, we have met. We've met in person. So yes. My lovely translator. Right, okay, so I've got light ma mint macaron and dark mint macaron for my leaves, and I've got petal pink pair. I've got um, mango melody for the centre of that flower, and I'm going to have a wee touch of blue in there. I actually do need, oh, kind of want a brownie colour. What have we got? Dark soft suede as well for my stem. I'm trying to be on top of my game. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Let's not brag. But two lives in one day. That's good. Anyway, so I'm going to take the dark. I'm excited because it's pre-order in a few hours. And I'm really sorry for some of my colleagues who haven't even received their catalogue yet. That's just such a shame. So surprised that I'm not one of you waiting still. Right, so just put some strokes of the dark one on and then I'm just going to go over that with the light one. You can experiment with different, you don't always have to stick with the pair. You know, you can do other colours. I just today, just relaxing a wee bit and just doing a bit of stamping and a bit of colour and using up this stack of Whisper White that um, I've made and I'm... What I'm doing is getting some cards together for Mum. I, if you watched a video last week, I made a, a card caddy case type thing for her. Um, so I'm kind of trying to give her a selection of cards now in it that she can use so that she can write to her friends. And, and I'm going to do a few masculine ones with some DSP so that she can write wee notes to my stepfather who's unfortunately in a nursing home and of course she can't visit him it's just so sad so there we go petal pink it's a lovely colour and so then again and just do the leaves and the calyx and what have you with oh I want the dark one first yeah my stepdad actually has lung cancer, he was in hospital, he's now been transferred to a nursing home. 
He had three COVID tests and he was clear on all of them, so that's something that's got enough to deal with. But it is just palliative now, so that's pretty sad. So I stamped to distract myself from all of that. What about you guys? Is stamping your happy place? Yeah, it is Cindy, but hey, do you know there's people dealing with worse just now? So we just have to thank our lucky stars. Um, we'll just do this one green. Right, so let's get the dark, oops, the dark one in here. And again, I just put the dark in. I'm no expert on colouring. I'm just here to show you that you don't have to be an expert. Some of the ladies who watch me are extremely clever with colour. So if you are, then obviously you can put more detail in it. And we'll just put the dark on these leaves as well. Just keeping it simple, really. The blends are just such a superb way to add colour to a project. And with the brush end, it just takes no time at all. If you're kind of like a person that likes instant results like me, well, there you go, you know. What's wrong with that? But you also have the option to be painstakingly careful if that's your thing and take your time and do all your shading and of course it makes a difference. But I'll just, I'm entry level and I'll always be entry level. Yeah, well the thing is, you know, I've enjoyed making them and then I'm going to send them out to, or, or give them to mum so that she can use these ones. So they bring, you know, they bring happiness and joy wherever. So I just decided, I just wanted to add that very, very small amount of seaside spray in there. Just those two little bits and that's all of that. So I'll leave that and I'll just colour this one. And I'm using the same palette except I'm adding in some Mango Melody. Christine you got me this time I came actually it was because of your comment Christine and I had like do you know I was on so early this morning here that you guys didn't have a chance so I've just put everything in the oven that's for dinner my husband's away for the home from work and away for his run so I thought well I'm just going to pop on and share this wee idea with the ladies I'm just adding some dark here and there and everywhere here Stamping up make it easy because they kind of give you a clue where the shadows are and I just go with their idea. That's leaf that bit there. And then I'm just go over with the light. Oh, I'm glad to have you here, Christine. Yay. Glad to have everybody here. You're just, you know, it's like a lovely wee community. And a crafter's got to craft, as they say. I haven't had my dinner yet, it's just in the oven. So, I'm going to have a whole lot of vegetables and some meat. Got some cauliflower and some courgettes. I'm roasting them in the oven. If you tried roast cauliflower, it is absolutely beautiful. I just wrap it in tin foil, but I drizzle um, olive oil and some chilli flakes on it first. Oh, now there I had a bit of wet ink. That's not good. That's not so good. Let's clean this off a bit.
that's not good there's that's that little black streak but well that's okay we'll live with it i'll try with our highlight our color lifter but i don't think it'll lift the obviously normally i do the stamping and then leave it a while actually before i do this I think there was just a wee blob of ink there. I actually think all it's going to do is lift the pink. Or maybe just... One of those... Well, let's just do that bit with the darker. That's alright though, do you know. That's okay. Hi Jenny! An open face pizza salad sandwich. Oh yeah, it's roast cauliflower is so delicious. I use a slow cooker a lot as well, I love it. I did a lovely pork one the other day there. It was delish. Just chucked all the sort of things that were in the fridge. It looked a bit sad, the vegetables were looking a bit tired. So I just chucked them in the slow cooker, threw in a few spices in there and just let it all. So there, that's the flower and then again just the greens. Just some wee dark bits. It's probably better to just do one leaf at a time because then it kind of blends better. And then, do, 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 two more leaves. I probably should go that way. And then just take the light one. over and just blend, kind of blend them together. I mean no leaves are, I probably could put some of the darker other shades of green in here but I just was keeping it simple. And then the, put the lid on so it doesn't evaporate. What, you toast some bread and then put some cheese and then sauce pepperoni and bake it, add pepper, mushroom and shredded lettuce with a bit of mayo. Oh, yum. I had some ham and cucumber at lunchtime and I added um, some lemon. I added some lemon oil to my mayonnaise. Oh, that was delicious. There, that's my, that's my colouring done. And what I've done here is I've cut a petal pink base so it's really you know it's really quite clean but you don't have to keep it clean you could take a black pen and put a border or you could even use that scroll to put a border but I just for, but for this particular card I think I just like it clean and simple So again, it's just glue it down.
Sometimes we think, you know, sometimes we'll think that um, we've got to use lots of supplies and we've got to make it all complicated. And do you know what? Sometimes simple. It's just pretty. It's a lovely set, Christine. You know, I don't want to be an enabler, Christine, but you really need it. It is gorgeous. Have you just got it, Cindy? Oh, it's, it is super. I know it is, you know, I know it is slightly more expensive than some of the other sets. However, it um, it's a two, you know, it's a two-part stamp set, so it's gorgeous. And it's great for colouring, and there's a lot, you could use so many different techniques with it. You know, you can emboss it, you could build it up and decoupage it, you you could just do a lot, you know, simple stamping with just that bud. I think if you look back to my videos from last year, I've got one pair I did negative colouring when I used this bud to make my own kind of designer series paper with it. And then I just stick this one on, and just really stick in with clean and simple, I think. There you go. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. We will get through this together, ladies. You know. Stampin' will save the day. There you go. What do you think? Which one do you like best? It's so simple, Karen. And it, do you know what I mean? It's just... So you only need one ink pad. And a few blends. No, this set's not retiring, Christine, so you don't have to rush. It's going to stay with us for another full year. Yay, it's just, it's just gorgeous. So thanks, ladies, for coming in and any gentlemen that might watch later on in the replay. Hi to everybody. Please, um, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit the bell icon. And please, 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 if you're watching just now, will you give me a thumbs up under the video? Not, not in the chat, but under the video, please. And I'd love to hear your comments um, afterwards as well, what you think. So do you like this one or this one? One or two? Which is your best? Oh, hi, Kate. Oh, we're just finishing. <laughs> You'll have to catch us on the replay. I've done these two cards. I've been using blends and I stamped with Memento Ink and I've been using Good Morning Magnolia. It's just adorable. Thanks, Kate. So, yeah. Okay, then. Nobody can make a decision, so... <laughs> You like them both. I have to say I like them both too. So they're going to go in the box that goes to mum. You think two is your favourite with the big flower? Do you not do with the white space, Cindy? I love, I, I do like clean and simple, although there's days when I can just like stamp and stamp and stamp. And you're liking two as well. I, I you know that you could of course if you could use that and you could stamp the other you know you could stamp it again upside down on this side and thus fill your card um because you know it could you could bring it right down or or you can do it that way and you could fill the card quite well i just sometimes depends on my mood i, I just sometimes like clean and simple so there you go Thank you very much once more for all your support and see you later. If there's anyone from UK who doesn't have a demonstrator um, and you would like um, a, 
a, one of the new catalogues I am preparing my list of people who would like to receive a catalogue so if you are my customer or or you're in the UK and you don't have a demonstrator please get in touch and I will happily send you out a catalogue thank you so much bye 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 everyone, have a great evening. The sun's shining here so I'm going to go and get a bit a wee walk and then I'm going to eat. Thank you, bye bye.